I just knew with a minute of medicine for your mind. I had a student once who had some life issues and therefore was consequently uh, involuntarily withdrawn from the university. Asked, could I help? So I said, stand by. I went and talked to the registrar, uh, the advisors, got everything together. But it would take some time for the paperwork to catch up with the system. Didn't get a chance to tell the student because I was out of the office for a couple of days. When I got back, I heard some messages where she was just pretty much upset telling me off in the, in the messages because she didn't know what was going on. When I went to call her, she was happy to hear from me because by then the system had caught with the paperwork and everything was all good. She apologized for her messages and no foul, no harm. You see, what I'm trying to say to you today is real simple, see. When you hit that brick road in life where you need favor to open up a way for you, God's not going to have a conversation with you. He's going to talk directly to the person who has the power, the authority, and the ability to pour that favor out on you so you can keep it pushing towards your destiny. It's like when Joseph was in jail. God never had a conversation with him on how he's going to get out. Joe, did God talk to the, the butcher or the butler who talked to Pharaoh and said, Joseph can interpret your dream, you should call him. Or when Israel wanted to get out of Egypt, God never said anything back to Israel because God was talking to Moses, said, yo, you go tell Pharaoh to let my people go. Or when David was anointed king but was still out in the field tending the sheep, God didn't have a conversation with David. Instead, one of David's neighbors heard David play the lute and went to Saul and said, yo, young boy can play. You should call him to the, to the palace. You see, my point is this. We all get to a point in life where we need favor to pour out on us so we can keep moving towards our destiny. You just need to keep doing the right thing. And don't get frustrated because God's not going to talk to you. He's going to have a conversation with the person who can release your favor and open doors so you can keep it moving. Just keep doing the right thing. God's already in their ear. This is new with the Minute of Medicine for your mind.